Hey, it's Doris with Aldi Books coming to you once again from my well-lit bathroom. And no, Sean, absolutely not. This is a dining room chair in the bathroom. I'm not sitting on the porcelain throne. There will be no flushing. We all know that flushing is a major faux pas on booktube, so no. No! Anyway, <laughs> I am coming to you with the middling booktuber tag. I was tagged by Mel way back in, I think, the spring, early summer, something to that effect. I actually filmed this and I tried to do that cool um, walking around outside in nature hike or in the city even, but I'm in nature. Um, you know, I tried to do that, which was really popular back in the summer. It was a fad that was going on. Um, a really cool fad. I mean, it needs to come back. It probably will in the summer, but anyway, I tried and I failed. So I'm back with it again. I'm back with it again in a stationary spot in my bathroom. <laughs> and this is an ill-prepared tag because I just sat down and look at this sweater against this backdrop. <laughs> just, I'm just blending here, <laughs> cracking me up. Anyway, this is going to be ill prepared. Did I say that? I did say that. Um, I wrote the questions down though, so I have that much. I didn't think about them very much, but anyway, let's just get to this because it's late, man. It's late, Vlogmas. Okay, so. This is an original tag, the Middling Booktaper tag, by Stripped Cover Lit, and I will link Mel and Stripped Cover Lit below, along with the people that I tagged, because I did prepare in that respect. I have tag names today. Got it, got it. Okay, so, question number one. Oh. And this is for booktubers who are in their teen years. So between 2,000 and 9,000. I know that those aren't teen numbers, but maybe you know what I'm talking about here. So yeah, the teen years, 2,000 to 9,000 subscribers. And I was tagged when, you know, I was in the 1,500 range and Mel said, that we, instead of being middling booktubers, we would be meddling booktubers. And I thought that was so funny and so appropriate. So, yeah. I'm going to tag some meddlers. Stay tuned for that. Anyway, anyway, question number one. Uh, what would you say to booktubers who are under 100 subscribers? And I would say, welcome. Welcome. We're glad you're here. Good for you. Um, and don't be afraid to join in the conversation and the fun. So, you know, leave comments. That's what they're for. And, you know, leave multiple comments because there are people like me that aren't real good all the time about, you know, responding and then get in the routine of respond. I, I have responded to all my comments this month. I'm so happy. So... But, you know, it takes a few comments for some of us to, like, oh, you know? <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, so, yeah. And I've just met some great people that way through the comment section. Um, and readathons and tags, you know, those are for you, too. So join in, that's the best way to get started, is to join in everything, and then that way you'll find out what you like to do, too, because you may not, you may do everything, but you may not be the type to get to everything, but if you try it all out, you'll find out what you enjoy the most. You can do that. Okay, and then what, what advice would you give to booktubers who are around a thousand? Yeah, you're awesome, and... I would say you are now at the point where you've probably tried everything and you've got a long list of all the things that you want to do and just keep on with your bad self. 
Um, and probably at that stage, you'll be realizing that some things you love doing and some things you not so much, and it's okay to drop those. You don't have to do all the standard things. You know, you can pick and choose and just do what's fun for you because the thing is, the things that you enjoy watching and the things that you enjoy doing, that's what you're going to be best at. So, and that's what's most enjoyable to you. And believe me, after you do it for two years or, you know, some people are at the five year, eight year mark, you don't want to pressure yourself to keep doing things you don't like. So just, this is a place where it's completely okay to just do what's fun for you. It is. That's what I say anyway. Um, number three, what is the question you that you would have for a big booktuber? You know, I've been thinking about this one and I don't, I don't really know. So, you know, it's not really fun for me, so I'm not going to answer that one. Number four, um, share a big booktuber who deserves more subscribers. So since I didn't answer number three, I'm going to share two here. I love Reagan from Peru's Projects. I love her. I do. I don't really watch her um, recommendations and hauls and things because she reads a lot of YA and fantasy. And I like some of that, but I don't like that many um, videos of that, if that makes sense. But her, um, her vlogs, man. The thing I like about Reagan is she is so happy. She's just got a positive spirit and outlook. I mean, she has her down times, but she just smiles and that makes me happy. And her little boyfriend, same thing. He's just the happiest guy. And it just, it just makes me feel upbeat to watch it. Every time she posts a reading blog, I'm like, yeah, Reagan's here. I, I like it. And they have a pug and she's so cute. Anyway. And the other one is Witty from Witty Novels. Um, her mother named her Well. She is indeed Witty. She cracks me up. She just is one of those people that does not care. She will stay and do anything and I'm always here for that. I'm always here for someone who doesn't worry so much. I like it. Um, she'll get emotional and upset, but she'll laugh and do crazy stuff with her roommates. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting better, I swear. I'm getting better. Thanks to you all who have, you know, told me to get better because I'm getting better. Anyway, yeah, Witty. I love Witty. And I really love that she realized she was a senior in college and this was her last semester. And I love that she realized that and took the time to, she, she does vlogs as well. Did I, did I say that? I love that she took the time to record all those last moments. I'm just, I just can't even imagine looking back on my college years and having that forum to do it. That's so cool. Anyway, yeah. Number five, um, what do you see as your end game? Like, I guess that means what are you shooting for here? <laughs> and I ain't really shooting for nothing. <laughs> so my end game will be when I quit. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm, I'm just happy with, I'm just here for, you know, the kicks and the company. So, um, number six, what is something that you wish you did better? <clears throat> I'm kind of going to say editing, but with the disclaimer that I'm not putting any effort into it. So I don't really know that I can say editing because I'm not trying, but I did, I did um, learn to put those titles in. I know you guys are proud. Those look good. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like iMovie 
will only let me do it to the entire clip and like shortening a clip to put the title on and then splicing in the other half that seems like a wasted effort really anyway um, I could learn to put those little pictures in but that seems like too much work too uh, yeah you want to see some people that edit well like really well I'm gonna give you three three people to watch you can watch the Poptimist because he is a superstar he entertain me um books and lala she's into graphic arts and hers are just so visually appealing her graphics her font choices stellar and michael reads he really enjoys the editing process and so he does some neat things with how it looks and always looks as he uses a high-end camera it looks nice it looks really nice so there you go uh, what is something you're proud of um, I like it when people leave comments and say oh you just made me happy because you know you're happy and I'm like yeah that's good stuff that's good stuff and vlogmas vlogmas is such a good idea because um, you know, I have family and it's all good, but Christmas is a hard time of year. It really is. It can be. So, you know, you guys may think, oh, this is silly, you know, posting a video every day. I'm going to unfollow all these people that are posting videos every day. And that's cool. That's totally cool. Um, my watch later list is out of control. But, you know, there are some people that are like, oh my gosh, there's so many extra videos and it's the highlight of my day and it happens. I mean, I just speak from experience because it's just me and the kid and, you know, it's cool now because, you know, he's good company. But when it was just me and the kid and he was a little guy, sometimes that was hard and it was nice to have entertainment. I didn't have booktube back then, but just something to think about it is and oh number eight uh, if you were to have a second channel what would it be this is my second channel surprise no I had a paper crafting channel um, started out with scrapbooking and then I got heavy into the planet planet planner the planner zone and yeah, I did, I did. That was more like a little, almost part-time job that was. So that's why I'm such a stickler for fun only here because, you know, you know. Anyway, that's it, that's it. So now I get to tag some people and I will link all of them below. And I just went through and found some of my subscribe my subscribers on my the people I subscribe to some of my peeps um, that were in the like 1500 to 2000 like just crossed over 2000 zone with the idea that by the time they get around to doing it they'll be you know in the tweens you know teens anyway anyway so I'm tagging Sean, the book maniac, no flushing, Sean, no flushing, uh, time to read, exclamation point, and her cool cats, which haven't been on her channel in like a couple of months, and that is just wrong, Stephanie, is wrong, uh, split reads, I believe she's a librarian, I think so, anyway, um, wandering reader who tag Tuesday I'm coming for you I haven't forgotten the cocktail tag I have not it's coming soon and the novel nomad you guys need to listen to her her voice is I love it I love it she's so so classic anyway that's it thanks so much for watching and I will be back soon because Vlogmas. Bye.